Hello and welcome back to Much To Say About Nothing, the show where we test you on the oddballs and muck-ups of current affairs. This is our last show of the series, hence the hats. Uh, so for one last time, we'll be pitting the red team and blue team together to see who knows the most about the stuff that's caught our eye in the news this week. Stay tuned for, as always, we'll have a whole load of quizzes and games to test the knowledge of our wonderful contestants and find out not only who will win today, but the entire series. So there's a lot up for grabs. Uh, I don't know if anyone's been, anyone been keeping up with the news recently. There's lots been going on, lots of scientific stuff. Apparently, the moon has shrunk over the last few million years, uh, which now means I've lost less weight than the moon, which is great. Uh, I, tried to, I, I tried to diet, I tried to exercise. Uh, there's a pay-as-you-go gym where I live. Pay-as-you-go gym. I see that? I think free gym. <laughs> Thank you, that was, a, that was a really good joke. That deserved more, <laughs> uh, but oh well. Uh, I don't know, but I like, I, I try, what I say is I have, I have a diet on Monday, you know, I start a diet on Monday, it's what you always say, and so what I do is on Sunday is I basically eat all the crap in the house, like all the chocolate, all the unhealthy food, and then on Monday, I don't diet, but I'm still, so basically I've got a cheat day for a diet I'm not even on, like it's, it's an impossible cycle to get out of. I do, I do play sport, like I play, um, I play football, but I'm not really laddy, like I feel like I shouldn't be there, like it's lad cultural appropriation, you know? Uh, and I know I'm not assimilated with the lads because at the end of every game they go and plan a post-match pint without me, in front of me, uh, which is really enjoyable. It's fun. Like, I've got important stuff to do though. Like at the end of every football game, I go to a petrol station, buy a family sharing bag of chocolate, and eat it on the forecourt. Uh, and sometimes I even put petrol in my tank. So you know. Uh, lots to look forward to. Uh, that's quite a sad thing to end on, actually. <laughs> uh, but we've had lots of fun over this series, uh, so let's take a look at some of the best bits from our five weeks. Hello, and welcome to Much To Say About Nothing, the show where we test you on the oddballs and muck-ups of current affairs. Over on my left, we have the red team with Team Captain Gemma. We've got the experience here, and we've got the brains here, and we're going to bring home the bacon. We have the blue team with Team Captain Jake. Um, I don't know, I think we like kind of failed last hurdle, but we did it together as a team. We've got zero points in the game. A little bit of cheating as well, sort yeah. of let us down a bit. Do you think the cheating... Who's cheating? Jammers? Not point any fingers, but... <laughs> Can we just point out, she um, grabbed out of my hand first. OK, oh. right. Well, no, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Start it again, start it again. But She's right in front of us! <laughs> already ready to go. Djibouti. We're looking for a man <laughs> and a booty. Can I've you got a booty. I don't know if I can find your booty. Is that Fine. a country? The blue team! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the red team! <laughs> Congratulations. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Johnny, be good. He used to sing his guitar. So there we go, what a series it's been. Uh, if anything, that's just kind of point out how bland my wardrobe is before I go out and get some new stuff. Uh, but we have some exciting news for this episode, because this week's winner will not only earn one point for winning, but two, which now means that, that everything is to play for. So the red team currently have three across the series, and the blue have two wins, but obviously that means anyone can win now. So blue will pip it with just one, or maybe red will take home a massive victory. Uh, but without any further ado, Let's see how it plays out and meet our contestants. On my left, we have the wonderful red team with Team Captain Gemma. Hello, Gemma. Hello. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, I'm good, thank you. Would you like to introduce your team? So I've got Andrew on my left. Mm -hmm. He's migrated over from the losing team. Yeah, you And then Jerome on my right. <laughs> Lovely. Nothing to say about Jerome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just well, we'll, Jerome. We'll, we'll get into. We'll, we'll get up that say We'll get into in a minute, Jerome. But let's not phrase it like that. Um, uh, so we'll start with that. We'll <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll start with Andrew. Uh, you migrated from the the blue team. What's going on? Um, I was told to come over here, but apparently the winds just follow me. So one last time, I'm gonna win again. Let's do it. I know. So you're the, you're like the power play, the power substitute. Yep. And Jerome, have you seen the show before? Can't say I have, but. Um, I think I've got the gist of it so far. Cool, so you think the, the introduction, yeah, you've done very well with that. So uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that'll carry on and you'll, you'll win a couple of games for your team. Uh, but first, let's go meet the blue team on my right with team captain Jake. Hello, Jake. Hiya. Would you like to introduce your teammates today? Yeah, absolutely. So fresh from breaking every girl's heart, we have Harrison. 
And then he served me a few times in Dylan's without any free drinks. You can just call him JD. Uh, very lovely to meet you both. Uh, so, so Jake, you're, you're the only person that's played every game yeah. of Much Say About Nothing. Do you think you've cracked it now? You're going to win? I think I have. I think I've just shown I've got more dedication than the other team. You know, Gemma, we've all seen that she disappears off halfway through. Mm -hmm. She's not really here. She's a bit vacant. Um, a bit vacant. <laughs> <laughs> a bit vacant as well. Congrats. Well, there we go. Very confident, if poorly dictated there. D <laughs> dictated isn't the word. Diction. Bad diction. Anyway, um, enough of that. Let's, let's move on and actually get into the game. Uh, so, as always, we start with our headlines round. So, we've got some, some of the more unusual and interesting news from the week on the screen. We're going to get our team's thoughts and feelings on them. Blogger horrified after octopus sucks onto her face <laughs> as she tries to eat it alive. I don't know if this is a real photo or edited, but wow. that is traumatising slash hilarious. Uh, we'll start with the blue team. Harrison, what do you think of this? I uh, didn't expect that. Didn't expect that, no. <laughs> JD? Well, a bit of free food in it, and it was just happy. And a few followers, so why not? People do anything these days when they for a few followers, so... So you get your face sucked off by, uh, by an octopus? Oh, no, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't. I'm not really much of a YouTuber, so... No. Oh, I see. Fair yeah, enough. what he said. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, any thoughks here on the red team? It looks like her eyes have fallen out. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It was terrifying. Yeah. I didn't like it. It's too much for me. <laughs> to be fair, I've seen couples going at it in, in cameo like that before. It's not <laughs> nice, <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's move on to our next headline and try and get that image out of our heads. Man gets 400 Tinder matches and some very rude chat-up lines. <laughs> after using gender swap filter on photo. Uh, so, Red Team, have you used the Snapchat filter? Have you seen this all over yeah, social media? Yeah. Funny. I feel like I basically look the same. I have quite a feminine face. So I was like, oh, OK, cool, now I look like you long hair. More like yourself, but with long hair. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you're more attractive as a woman or as yourself? <sighs> Depends what floats your boat. <laughs> I suppose that, that, that is very true. That is very true. It's all down to per personal preference. Over here on the blue team. To be fair, when I met that particular lady, I was about six points down. So, you know, it could, <laughs> it could, have, it could have been anyone. But, it uh, happens yeah. to anyone, yeah. I mean, it's like catfishing to the next level, isn't it? It's just like it giving really like, people skills to like, catfish so easily. Mm. Well, surely, if you're going to Because you're going to catfish, it's more obvious that it's the Snapchat filter. Why don't you just get a picture of an attractive girl? I mean, obviously not, because that 600 matches and then all those chat lines, he's doing it right. Uh, to be fair, though, but he's a woman, I'm assuming, on straight Tinder. And straight men don't really have a lot of standards, so no, they just go for, go for anything. It's a lot easier. <laughs> um, <laughs> like if someone's wanted them, like, they can be like, oh, yeah, take a picture with a fork. That's how you get a catfish. Mm. But then with a Snapchat fork, take a picture with a fork. Boom. Yeah. Right. Have you not heard of that? So it's just like, if you think someone's not who they say they are, you'd be like, take a picture with like a spoon on your head. And then if you're a catfish, using other people's pictures. What are you into? Jeez, are you telling people you are? <laughs> <laughs> I've done things, OK? Right. Wow, so all awesome. you have to do Sorry. is find naked pictures of people with cutlery, and you're naked, the person. Naked? No one said anything <laughs> about <laughs> Well, you know, just oh, I'm assuming that's where it's yeah. going. Yeah. I assume oh, where that's the catfishing is going. Right? Otherwise, what's the point of just getting pictures of people's faces? I, mean, I don't know. I don't, it's nice to know that none of us are in the mind of a catfish, at least. So, you know, we're, we're yeah. all good, decent people. Yeah, I'm questioning me. JD a little bit, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out how that unfolds with the rest of the show. Uh, carrying on with the current affairs theme, we went out and tested the general public to see whether they could tell the difference between a true headline and a false one. National treasure um, and going off of their last babies, they're quite normal names, so yeah, I can see that happening. True, mm. I heard it was gonna be named something else, so but then I think that was a joke. False, um, I'd say that's false as well. I'm gonna go with false. Probably, yes. Mm. Do you know what? I'm just gonna say true because that wouldn't even surprise me. True. Um, probably false. Yeah, I'll go with false. <laughs> true. False. Can't be true. Definitely not. Uh, false. Definitely. True. My mum said that as a kid, um, but I don't think it's true. No, I don't think it's true. I'm pretty sure I've heard that is actually false. Or is that true? 
mustard. True. I'd say that's true. Probably. Oh my god. Um, false. I don't think they can hang a monkey. It was hung. They hung a monkey. Uh, surely not. Come on, that's false. True. That's true! What? What? Uh, false? False. I'll answer that one, so I'll say yes. Um, true? True. A hairy dog in a light. Yeah, true. Yeah, talk to him. True. Gee, I don't know. Oh, don't. I think that's something that Chinese people can do, so yeah, true. Uh, true. Uh, I'm gonna go with true as well on that one. False. So there we go, that's our, our VT guys. Uh, what do you think about that? Have you ever fallen foul to fake news on the blue team? Well, I mean, first up, I think the years haven't been kind of Westlife, have they, by the looks of things there? Looking <laughs> a bit worse for wear, but um, <laughs> hurricanes, I think hurricanes are scary in regards of gender, don't you think? I think if you see a hurricane, you're not going to be like, oh, yeah. Scarf. No, I'll, I'll, I'll play it easy. You're going to mm. run. You we it's should have hurricane one. equality, all right. I just, it's just such an odd fact, like, um, like, Jesus Christ, they're like opposites, like, do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Uh, no, I don't know what you mean, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, so like, every other hurricane is like, oh, it so alternates gender. Yeah. So, why is it like every other hurricane, people are like, oh, we don't respect that one, let's just jump into it. Do you know what I mean? So I see what you mean. Not respecting a hurricane. Like, yeah, I was just going, just like, nah. nah. <laughs> Katrina. Yeet myself into it. <laughs> Katrina, <laughs> screw her. Let's yeet herself in. What do you guys think here on the red team? I'm just very confused. I didn't realise hurricanes had genders. They name, they, <laughs> they, 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 they name, they name hurricanes like Hurricane Katrina or Hurricane Dave or Hurricane, you know. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> you know, did you think there were like hurricanes with genitals? Because that's what, what's going on. Did you just assume my hurricane? <laughs> <laughs> so, are you up to speed now? Do we know? No. no okay. No. Fair enough. Team leaders letting us all down. I think. Any other headlines <laughs> caught, caught your eye there, Blue Team? Um, the monkey one. Wow. Yeah, I do have an issue with that because the past participle of hang is hanged. Mm. So talking about a hung monkey is very different. So maybe <laughs> we probably spell check before we get into it. Uh, any thoughts here on the red team? I really like the ginger guy who's asked questions. He was just kind of like that the whole time. Okay, no one remembers that, never mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, you're on catfishing later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, then we could get his number. Nice. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, so we move on to our next game. In this game, we're going to show you a quote. The quote is either going to be from Piers Morgan or Katie Hopkins. Two very similar characters, so it's quite, quite hard this week. Uh, and as always, we have the return of the dreaded ball pit. So, Gemma and Jake, if you'd like to make your way to the playing area. Now, this has been the most controversial area across the series. There's been, there's been fighting, there's been fists thrown, everything's gone wrong in this ball pit. We'd like a nice, clean game for yeah, the Gemma last one, please. Like. Right, I feel like Gemma's somewhat out of it, so don't take, don't take advantage too much, Jake. With your, you know, I know what you like. I've seen your dirty ah. tactics before. So play fair, play nice. You've got 30 seconds starting now. <laughs> well, this is the wow. countdown music, more or less. Gemma has woken right up, I tell you. This is vicious. <laughs> right, right. Last few seconds. Is there any more left? Four. Five, four, three, two, one. That's time up. So, how many balls did you get over here on the blue team? Um, like ten. That's not too bad. Nice. Do they all have quotes on that? That's the important yeah, thing. Like right, we'll start. <laughs> we'll start with the blue team. Oh. We'll start with the blue team. If you read out a quote, please. Um, most of the men that Sue. That's Sue. That's Sue in Hollywood, all about five foot two. Most of the men that Sue in Hollywood, so I assume put you yeah, know, legal action. Law, um, stuff. What do you guys think? Yeah, it sounds like Piers Morgan. He was over there for a while, wouldn't he? Probably got Piers. Yeah, yeah. He's not amazingly tall himself, though, so would you want to bring that up? 
Um, I would, anything that mentions okay. him, yeah. Okay. Leave, leave Piers as your answer then, and peel back and reveal who it Piers. was. Piers! It was Piers! Congratulations! Ooh. There we go. Oh my balls. That's a point oh to the blue team. Uh, red <laughs> team, if you'd like to start with your quote. Jim, you take that first. I'll leave you on it. Ginger babies like a baby, so much harder to love. Okay, Kate. Wait, was it? Wait. I feel was like... It? I don't understand. Ginger babies like a baby. Yeah, I don't really get it. Basically, gingers aren't lovable. That's the thrust of the quote. I feel like um, Katie Price would say that because she says like. Katie Hopkins. Oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hopkins. Yeah. Hopkins. Yeah. Hopkins. Lovely Hopkins. stuff. Katie Hopkins would say that because she says like she doesn't like fat people and things like that. Mm -hmm. So okay. I can just imagine her saying that. So peel it back. Who do you think it is? Yeah, 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 Katie. Yeah, yeah. Lock, lock that in then. Katie. Yeah. Katie. Congratulations. Putting the red team back to the blues. A name for me is a short way of working out what class that child comes from. Katie Hopkins, obviously. 100%. And she does talk a lot about names. So, okay, let's peel it back. Katie! Congratulations. Back to the Reds now. Get a grip. You don't sob like a baby because you're losing. That's pathetic. That's going to be you guys. Then. I think that's Piers Morgan. Pause, Piers, not pause. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Right, so okay. back then. We'll do a quick fire for the last Piers Morgan! Piers Morgan, congratulations. Oh. That was correct. <laughs> Ignore the sound effect. Would I employ oh. you in if you were obese? No, I wouldn't. Katie Hopkins. Okay, peel it back. Oh, I gave that away. Oh my god. Yeah, you talked about Katie. people early. Oh, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Gemma, have you thrown Free. it he, by giving them too much information? <laughs> right, last quote then. Freelancers love their phones like the fat love food. Oh. Inseparable. Piers Morgan. But, okay, we've already said that Katie talked about fat. I feel like that's definitely 100% Katie. Peel it back then. Yeah, Katie. Go Katie. Okay, go Katie. Katie! Oh. Congratulations, there we go. Well, nobody got a few points there, so it's still, still pretty tight on the scores. Uh, we will find out who wins, however, after this next game, so let's move on to it. So, our next game is one of my favourites. It's been my favourite all series. It's our wonderful Improv Monkeys. Woo! Yes, thank you. They never get... Yes. Guys, guys, guys. Um, I did it all. <laughs> wow. W when I first set out on this journey to create this, uh, th this wonderful piece of art, I, uh, I never thought that I'd have these two wonderful people alongside me throughout it. Thank you so much, Danny and Christian. You've been amazing. Please, say a couple of words. <laughs> uh, uh, film is a fluid thing, a lot like a can of soup, in that <laughs> words... <It's> <laughs> It's there we go. There's our wonderful improv. I'm so glad that they got the round of applause they finally deserve. Um, what do you think they were acting out, Red Team? Oh, you put your hands up. That's so lovely. Go on, yeah. Uh, either any of you. Oh, well, we can put that hand up first. Gemma, go on. The Baptists. Do you think Baptists? Yes, Baptists. Yeah. What do we think over here on the blue team? Baptists. Sure, we're going back. Well, we we're going yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Haha. <laughs> I should have put uh, your hand up. It was actually the. The, uh, oh. I think I, I wanted to give it to you both. Uh, it was the Cannes Film Festival. Um, oh, get that. Yeah, I, I get <laughs> that. Oh, okay. Uh, but I think the, only, the, only, the really reason I'm sceptical was giving it to you because the BAFTAs were specifically about TV just gone. So, and that they were talking about film. So we'll, we'll tell you what, we'll wait, until, we'll wait and see, see what the final results are, see what the, uh, the team in the studio decide. And, and we'll, we'll find out if either of you got the point from that. Teasing us, Andrew. I know, it was actually got to build a bit of tension, you know? It's a bit of a nice bit of gamesmanship. No seats here. Yes, you are. Rob Swinton doesn't have seats. No. <laughs> Rob's him off. Lovely stuff. So we are now going to move on to the results. We'll see what they decided are really the BAFTA's uh, point of controversy and see what has been the outcome. Not of today alone, but of the entire series. Six weeks of work. Let's see. Right. Drum roll, please. It's a draw! Yeah, because we had more points. Yeah. It does mean that the red team are the series yeah. winners! Yeah. See, I was trying to build a bit of tension. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was trying to build a bit of tension and then you just interrupt the tension with, oh, so we've won there. <laughs> it was like really Classic. anticlimactic. Yeah, of so because that final game ended as a draw, it meant points that says they stood as they were, and the red team have won. Commiserations, Blues. How do you feel about that? Oh, crestfallen, mate, crestfallen. I'm so sorry. Harrison? Mm. 
And I haven't got anything to say. I've got the words. <laughs> and that unsportsmanlike behaviour at the end from Gemma. <laughs> Honestly, I think Poch especially when she's not been here for half of it. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. Jake, you are the only person that's done every set episode. I know. I but like unfortunately, you points. don't get points for showing up. Well, uh, Red Team, congratulations, Gemma. Would you like to come and collect this little trophy we've got for you? I'll just throw it to you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try to catch it. Then it's fine. Uh, congratulations. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you want to keep it, I'm sure you can. Uh, are you happy with that Red Team? Uh, Andrew, do you feel a little bit sad that you've left the Blues behind to do this? The W followed me. I don't oh, care. I don't know. I don't think the fans at home will be happy about that. Jerome, first time on the show. Lucky charm. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> he's, he's come every time and yeah. lost, but once, win. Yeah, I'm really trying to avoid uh, a come every time innuendo. Um, Gemma, uh, any thoughts on the final bit of the series? I think the right people won. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that at all. <laughs> well, Off maybe... The Maybe there'll be a second series. Maybe there'll be the time for Jake to get his revenge. Probably not. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, that is not only the end of the show, but the end of the series. Uh, thank you for everyone for taking part. Thank you for all our panellists, not just today, but across the entire series. Thank you to our team captains. Thank you to everyone in the studio. Thank you to our wonderful <laughs> studio audience. Uh, they've been uh, a great support throughout this. Uh, so that's, that's it. Uh, we have had so much fun. Thank you for watching. Uh, to sing us out, we have one last performance from Emily, who will be singing Paper Hearts. Thank you for watching, and good night. Remember the way you made me feel such a young love, but something in me knew that it was real. Frozen in my head, pictures I'm living through for now. Trying to remember all the good times, our life was cutting through so loud. Memories are playing on my don't mind. I hate this part, paper heart. And I'll hold the piece of yours Hoping that you won't forget about it I know that you won't forget about it Bum ba da Dwee da dee dum ba da dee da Bum ba da Everything is grey under the skies Web mascara Hiding every cloud under a smile When there's cameras And I just can't reach out to tell you That I always wonder what you're up to Oh, oh, pictures I'm living through for now Trying to remember all the good times Our life was cutting through so loud Memories are playing in my don't mind I hate this part, paper hearts And I'll hold the piece of yours Hoping that you won't forget about it I know that you won't forget I live through pictures as if I was right there by your side And you'll be good without me And if I could just give it a try We'll be alright But now, but now But it even, but da 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 no, but I'll, oh, no, 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 pictures I'm living through for now, trying to remember all the good times, our life was cutting through so loud, memories are playing in my don't mind, I hate this part, paper hearts, and I'll hold a piece of yours, hoping that you won't forget about it. I know that I won't forget. <laughs> <laughs>